Oh, you can see just well I decided instead of cow shit in the inside of the asparagus patch I'd put some mulch down and some hen manure basically hen bedding with a hen shit mixed in to be blunt you can kind of see it can't you but this is what you do for asparagus and uh, here's the asparagus I've got 12 of them what you do is you separate the roots and lay it over the top with roots over the sides and then fill it back in again but on a brighter note as well also use me beetroot it's looking kind of good that's the latest stuff I planted. Now I've got a row of onions there. A row of shallots and then another row of onions. The tomatoes are coming on nicely. There's like two or three plants per little plot. Don't know what kind they are. I've got them given. They didn't have any labels on. Peppers are looking a bit I mean, it's been a bit cold recently, so the peppers aren't looking the best. I've still got that rocket to plant, but look at them teddies, man. I've been banking them, banking them up with mulch. You just see there. I've got a load of, ton well, 800 grams of, kilograms of mulch. But they're like two feet tall. And a uh, load of spinach in the back there. Been doing a bit of weeding, well, getting help doing weeding. It's fucking hard work, this garden unlock, isn't it? You know? I've got two rows of carrots and a row of either spring onions or garlic. Don't know exactly what they are. Ended up pulling half of the mould because I thought, well, there's loads of weeds there. And I'm going to put some pea pods and uh, French green beans there. And I bought a load of leeks yesterday, or the day before, or a couple of days ago, anyway. And I'm going to put a row down here and then row in there because there's it's over 30, probably about 60 of them. <laughs> I do love leeks, like, you know. But, yeah, just a little update. Bit of a change of a video other than uh, spine race runners and things. Which I do like anyway, I did like that. It was a good event for me anyway. Watching all these famous runners come through and talking to them. Good stuff, man. Catch you later.